fight fans worldwide, this is Upper Echelon Sports Bar, where we maintain boxing at its finest form. It's facts over feelings here. We're not a boxer fan, but we are boxing fans. So that means it's non-biased, even though you think it may be no. We love all boxers because we love the sport of boxing, and we hope to progress it and get away from this false narrative that it's going in. So y'all sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride because upper echelons in the building, and we're going to keep it ready. What's up, fight fans? And I have breaking news for you that will lift everybody's spirits and lift up your joints and make you want to sing. Do you hear me? Ha, 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 sing, I'm telling you. They say good thing comes to those who wait. And even though we have been patient, and the wait was tough. Good things have come and they come in good and plenty. Not only are we getting the fight of the decade or the best fight in 40 years, we're probably about to get the best fight card that's ever been made in boxing history. You say what? I said the best fight card that has ever been made in boxing history, hands down. And it's gonna be a welterweight extravaganza. Spence and Crawford, they had held up the welterweight division for some time, but guess what? Now, you're about to get the king of the welterweight division, plus you get to see the prince of the welterweight division in action. It's going to be a hands-on passing of the torch. What I'm saying, we have the number one and the number two, pound for pound, going heads up for all the belts in the welterweight division. One night, one fight, one victor, one king. This is what it is. You have Crawford on the verge of being a two-weight division, undisputed, undefeated champion. And then you have Earl the Truth Spence on the verge of fulfilling his dream, his legacy of being undisputed, the first ever welterweight undisputed. The winner of this fight will be the first ever welterweight undisputed of a four-belt era. The last welterweight undisputed was Zab Judah with three belts. And this is a lovely fight card. It's amazing and it just gets your blood pumping because you got two monsters in Earl the True Spence who is 28 and 0 with 22 knockouts. His last fight was Yadanis Ugas, April the 16th, 2022. A 10th round stoppage from Long Island, New York that represents Texas. And next we have the elusive switch hitting three division Former junior welterweight, undisputed welterweight, WBO champion, Mr. Terrence T. Bud Crawford, who's 38 0 with 29 wins, Helen from Omaha, Nebraska, whose last fight was against Showtime Sean Porter, November 20th of 21, where he stopped Sean Porter in the 10th round, something nobody's ever been able to do. Yes, we have. The master of disaster, plus the movable object, the juggernaut, Earl the True Spence. Once he gets rolling, ain't no stopping him, ain't nothing holding him, can't no controlling him. Spence, the 47 palms of Derek James, Earl Spence. It's going to be a night worth seeing and a night worth cherishing, and we all get to see it right there. And that's not even the icing on the part, because while these two kings battle it out, for control over the whole kingdom and who's gonna go up to 154 with the strap and who's just gotta go up and try to find a fight you know it's Earl and Bud but we have the passing of the torch and you can't talk about passing the torch without talking about the most dangerous the most electrifying most elusive boxer in the game right now the most underrated and the king of welterweight not named Crawford or Spence. Yes, we're talking about Jerron the Boots Ennis. Yes, Jerron Boots Ennis, the IBF shareholder for when Spence leave, going against Imantes Stanionis. They're working on a fight right now that'll bring them two power hitters together. Boots is already in line to get the IBF one Spence leave and Imantes Stanionis is in line to get the WBA. He's the WBA regular champion, 27 years old. He's 15 and 0 with 10 knockouts. He was a 2015 gold medalist at the European Championship from Lithuania. 
He won the WBA regular against Radzai Butaev in a split decision on Earl Spence undercard. Well, it was the co-main event on Earl Spence card, April 16, 2022. And Butaev was undefeated, 14-0 with one no contest with 11 knockouts at the time of the fight, which was a fight of the year candidate. You seen Stanionis go out there, him and Butaev went leather to leather, feet to feet, toe to toe, blow for blow, the middle of the ring. Then you got Jerron Bruce Ennis, 29 and 0, with one no contest with 27 knockouts, who was the 2015 lightweight Golden Gloves, the WBC UNBC Silver Champion, Helen from Philly. He last was in the ring with a second round KO against undefeated Custio Clayton, who was 19 and 0 with one draw and 12 knockouts. Jerome Boots and Amante Stanionis. That is a perfect passing of the torch. You got the WBA regular and the IBF regular. The winner of that will be the WBA or IBF champion. But right now, Amante Stanionis and his team, they clamor for the fight, but it's in negotiations. But if that fight don't work, then we got Thurman who's still on the list for Jerome Booth Ennis. Keith Thurman, who is 30 and 1 with one no contest, 22 and 0 from Clearwater, Florida. The former unified WBA WBC champion, whose last fight was February 5th, 2022, where he beat Mario Barrios, who was coming off a devastating knockout loss to Javante Tank Davis. Barrios was 26 and 1 with 17 KOs. Thurman just showed ring rust as he was hurt to the body in later rounds versus the young fighter that was stopped by uh, junior featherweight Javante Tank Davis. But Keith has been holding out of holding out and hoping to get the Earl Spence fight. But now that that is off the table, he has also been called out by Jerron Bruce Ennis. He also said he would take the fight if it's worth the right amount of money. So. If the Amante Stanionis and Jerron Boots in this fight falls through, then we also have Thurman versus Boots. Either way, it's going to be a heck of a showing and a passing of the torch. Whoever fights Jerron Boots in this on that night because he is the co main and feature. And Keith Thurman, he's been waiting for a big fight, and this is his chance to get right back into the mix because the winner of this fight will be in line to get any strap he wants. Stanionis has another valve on the extra. The reason why he's not committing to the Jerron Boots in this fight, Stanionis has been the mandatory since your Danis Ugas got the belt for Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao. And he's been taking step aside money. On the last Earl Spence fight day, he got a split decision on Raza Butayev and also won the WBA regular belt. So, Stanionis has been getting step aside money each fight and has been displayed on the fight card as well. So he either gets the fight with Boots and that's a legacy fight for the passing of the torch, or he goes up against Cody Crowley, who is 21 and 0 with nine knockouts, who also fought on Earl Spence last card, where he destroyed Jose Cito Lopez in a unanimous decision after hurting him in the fourth round. And the fight before that, he put his name on the map. DC beat then number one ring, Kudratalo Abacaro, who was 18 and 0 after beating Javier Flores in the eight round stoppage. So Cody Crowley, he put his name on the map and showed a great display of skills. And while on the biggest stage, the Earl Spence, Yudanis Ugas unification belt, he put his name in the hat of a belt holder. So we have the Russian, Raza Butayev, who is 14-1-1 with one no contest, 11 knockouts. His last fight was April 16, 2022, when he lost to Imante Stanionis. Then you got Showtime's own Brandon Lee, who is 25-0 with 22 knockouts, Helen from California. He also was on Showbox and became fast friends with the undefeated Jerron Bruce Ennis. His last fight, he went against Zachary Ochia. He won a unanimous decision April 16th on 2022 on Earl Spence Jr. Day. He was also on the card. 
We got Rashidi Ellis, who is 24-0 with 15 knockouts, hailing from Massachusetts. He just had a first-round knockout on Jose Mavaro, July the 9th, 2022. Rashidi Ellis is a big star as well, who can also put his name in the welterweight title hunt and in the box. He was put on the shelf when he was a member of Golden Boy when he beat the undefeated Alexis Rocha on 10-30-2020. He was put on the shelf for knocking off Oscar De La Hoya's plans of making a superstar of Alexis Rocha, who has been redeemed by defeating Blair the Flair Cobb. But now we have Rashidi Ellis on the PVC side where he will be able to display his talents, where he has called out Jerron Bruce Ennis after he done got his first round knockout. So that's another fight that's on the mark. Now, not saying we got all these fights together, but these are all the people that's they trying to get on that fight card. And the Stanley Onis and Boots, they're working on that. But if it falls through, then you're going to have Stanley Onis and Crawley. And Boots is yet to be determined. Keith Thurman is still the answer for Boots, but he's asking for a little bit too much. If he accepts the price, then we're going to have an amazing day. We're going to have Spence versus Crawford, Thurman versus Boots, and Stanley Onis versus Crowley. Plus, we're going to have Brandon Lee, possibly Rajah Butayev, and Rashidi Ellis on the card as well. That is a talent that is loaded. I mean loaded with talent. No card in the history of boxing can match up to that. Look at it like this. Boots is 29 wins. You got Crawford, 38 wins. Spence, 28 wins. Crawley, 21 wins. Butaya, 14. Ellis, 24 wins. Thurman, 30 wins. Brandon Lee, 25 wins. And on that whole, with all those numbers we got, we have two losses on the whole thing. And that's one by Butayev and one by Thurman. And Butayev got his from Montes Stanionis. And Thurman got his from the legendary 8th Division champion, Manny Pacquiao. Not to mention the knockouts. It's going to be a knockout affair. Because Boots coming in with 27 knockouts. Brandon Lee got 22 knockouts. Thurman with 22. Ellis with 15. We got Butayev with 11 out of 14. Crawford with 29 on 11. A 10 out of 11 fight knockout streak. We got Mr. Truth Spence with 22 knockouts. And Crawley with 9. Hey, we waited. We've been patient. And now it's paid off big. Everybody, let's get let's get ready to enjoy the best night of boxing that has ever been, at least in our eyes and our generations. And if it has been a better fight card in the last 50 years, I dare you to tell me one that's better. Shout out to everybody out there.